Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. I saw your feedback and questions from my Indian passport renewal video. So in this video, I will cover some of your common questions such as how to fill the NXHRE form, which address to fill on the NXHRE form, Indian or Canadian, and then the big one, can I keep my old Indian address on the passport? If so, what address proofs do I need to submit? How can I make the payment to the BLS? How long before the expiry date can I renew my Indian passport? How many photos do I need to provide? In this video, I will answer all these questions. So hit the bell icon to subscribe and let's get started. So now we have the NXJD form on the screen. The first thing that you need to do is fill out your name on the form. If there are any changes to your name, use the name that you have put down on the online application form to be consistent. Then you will need to put down your father's or husband's name and then you have to provide your current residential address in Canada. Please note that even if you want to have an Indian address on the passport, this is a declaration form and you have to provide the most accurate information. So even if you have lived in your Canadian address for two months, a year, you must provide your current Canadian residential address. I will share how you can keep your Indian address on the passport later in the video. So keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Then you need to provide your father's name, your mother's name, and if you are married, your wife's or your husband's name. Next, you need to mention how long have you resided at your current Canadian residential address that you provided above. Once again, doesn't matter if it is two months, three months, a year or longer, just provide the most accurate information. That's it. Then we have some important statements that you are declaring by filling out this form, such as you confirm that you are a citizen of India, that you were never convicted in India, that you have no open court cases or warrants in India, etc. Then at the end, we just need to put down the name of the place where you filled out this form, for example, Montreal, Toronto, etc. and put the date and then your signature. So as you can see, nothing too complicated. The main confusion is always about the address. So as I said, please fill out your current Canadian address and you will be good to go. I actually filled out my form at the counter at the BLS center. And if you still have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments. The next most common question that most people have is if they can keep their Indian address on the passport after renewal. The short answer is yes, you can keep your Indian address on your passport. When you fill out your application form, there is a section called printable address. You need to ensure that you fill out your Indian address in this section as any address mentioned here will be verified by police and will then be printed on the passport. Your Canadian address will go in the other address details section. Make sure that any Indian address you submit is of your family, relatives or friends as it will be verified by Indian police station closest to that address. Anyone residing on that address will need to have proof showing their relationship with you and also please share your IDs and passport copies with your family, friends or relatives in India to have them handy before the police verification. Now the next question is, what address proofs do you need? As per BLS Toronto, you will need these address proofs for your Indian and Canadian addresses. The information shown here is from the PDF FAQ file from the BLS Toronto. I have added a link to this file in the video description. Please review it and trust me, it will be very helpful for you. The next most common question is how can you pay BLS or what payment methods are accepted by the BLS? The answer depends on your application method. If you are applying in person, that is walk-in, then the method of payment is via debit card or cash. No credit cards are accepted. And if you are applying via courier application, then the accepted payment method is demand draft, which must be drafted in favor of BLS International Services Canada INC, and which must include the passport fee, counselor fee, BLS service charge, and return courier fees if not paid online. The next most common question is how long before the expiry date can you renew your Indian passport? The answer is one year before the expiry date. You can renew it immediately if there is a change of address or name change etc. 
However, if there are no changes, then you can renew it anytime within one year before the expiry date. Then most people want to know how many photos they will need to provide. And the answer is that you will need to provide two passport size photographs for renewal. I will drop the link to photograph specification in video description for your reference. If you are applying in person and you don't have any photographs beforehand, not an issue. BLS centers usually offer this service to click your pictures on site for a small fee. I didn't carry my passport photos with me and had them taken at the BLS center. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might be interested and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.